Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about uh, wireless configuration, uh, which connect the home AP, uh, also called home router, with wireless devices. Like uh, we uh, connect our devices with Wi-Fi in our home. So this is the example of layer two tunnel forwarding in line mode. So there are two VLANs. One is a, a control VLAN, uh, which uh, carry the control information and other is a service VLAN which carry the uh, information like uh, user data and what you are searching upon. So let's uh, move toward the configuration. So first of all we go in uh, AC and change the name of SC in system view and change the name of AC as AC and now we create a VLANs so we create two VLAN one is a control VLAN and other one is a service VLAN so VLAN batch 10 and 20 so now we go in a, a VLAN 10 so interface VLAN interface 10 and give the IP address to this VLAN IP address IP address is 192.168 10.1 and 24 and uh, we use DICP select interface I have made the video on DICP select interface how to uh, do uh, DICP select interface and what is the configuration of DICP select interface in my previous video so you can go and watch so if we do the DICP select interface all the devices in uh, uh, the DICP connect through DHCP will get the automatic IP address from this network. So first of all we have to enable DHCP sorry enable DHCP enable. So I have enabled the DHCP now I will go in interface 10 and select DHCP select interface. So now I have select now we, uh, we go in interface interface sorry interface interface VLAN interface 20 which is our service VLAN and give the IP address IP address IP address 192.168.20.20.1 dot 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 and 24 and also select DHCP select interface so all the devices uh, which connect uh, to the wireless APs will get the IP address from the service VLAN from this network uh, and uh, all the other uh, parameters uh, like uh, uh, IP address of uh, this AP and other APs are given through this network because this network is a, a control VLAN. So control VLAN means all the control uh, of the network uh, which uh, IP address of APs and other devices uh, go through this network and uh, all the uh, IP address assigned to all the devices which we connect wirelessly through this network service VLAN. So now we will move toward our configuration. So now we go in interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash uh, 2 which is this interface and make this interface as trunk port link type trunk and port sorry port trunk port trunk uh, allow pass VLAN and we only allow the VLAN uh, 20 because this carry the user data so it have to go on internet so we only allow this 20 VLAN to go above on internet so VLAN 20 okay and now we go on this interface quit interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 and port link type will be trunk and port port trunk allow pass VLAN both because uh, this link carry the data of uh, uh, service VLAN and as well as the uh, control VLAN because uh, any control through this side will have to go uh, come on this AC and AC will control all the 
uh, information so we learn 10 and 20 okay now we go in uh, this switch and also make these two ports as a part of VLAN 10 and 20. So quit. Now we are here in system view interface gigabit is 0 slash 0 slash 2 and the port link type will be trunk and port trunk low pass VLAN both 10 and 20 and now we go on this interface of switch ok G001 and the port link type will be trunk type will be trunk and port trunk allow pass VLAN both 10 and 20 and uh, one more thing make this uh, link the PVID of uh, 20 so port trunk PVID VLAN 20 so sorry VLAN 10 because VLAN 10 is a control VLAN so VLAN 10 is a PVID of this link sorry VLAN does not exist oh ho, we have to create VLAN so VLAN batch 10 and 20 so we are, VLAN had been created so now we go in this interface and make this command port PVID port trunk PVID VLAN 10 because VLAN 10 is a control VLAN ok so now we move toward the configuration of uh, AC how to do the wireless configuration so this is the real configuration of wireless so first we give the IP address to this interface ok interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP address will be 192.168.20.1 20.2 sorry and 24 ok port link type you can also give the port link type and other parameter to this now we go move toward the configuration of uh, wireless configuration so first step is you have to do VLAN WLAN so you are in WLAN view and now you have to create the AP group so command is AP group name so give the name AP and now AP group has been created so go back quit and now you have to uh, create the regulatory profile regulatory profile name uh, profile ok profile in which we uh, give the country code like in which country you are uh, deploying your ACs so suppose we are uh, deploying Pakistan or China so just select your country because this is simulation so it will run so China ok so now China and now we go back and uh, now we go again in AP group name AP and now the next command is regulatory profile to bind this regulatory profile in AP group we have a command uh, regulatory profile Prof, uh, profile ok profile ok now we have to bind yes select yes and you bind this regulatory profile to your uh, AP group so go back quit and go back now create a cap web tunnel between AC and the AP so all the data uh, control data will go through cap web tunnel so this is the tunnel we will uh, study in our next videos so all the data will go through tunnel so how to create cap web tunnel so cap web source interface VLAN so which VLAN is a control VLAN so VLAN 10 is a control VLAN so we select VLAN 10 now again we go in WLAN and now we uh, select the authentication mode of AP so how AC will recognize this is my AP or my uh, uh, AC so this AP will be 
authenticated through MAC address or serial number or no authentication but here we use the authentication through MAC address so AC will recognize these APs connect to this AC through MAC address so the command is AP uh, authentication mod MAC authentication and now go in this uh, switch and check which uh, MAC address or which AP connect to this interface of switch so display MAC address if you command uh, type this command display MAC address so it will show all the MAC address connect to all the interface on uh, this switch this interface G002 these two MAC address are connected and on this interface of switch G001 this MAC address is connected it means that this MAC address is of AP's MAC address so just copy this MAC address copy this MAC address and paste it here so after this command so type this AP MAC and paste this MAC address here and AP ID select this AP ID uh, 0 1 any other ID and now you can give the AP name so what is the name of AP AP name give the AP name as uh, employee of uh, your choice employee okay uh, we have changed the name of ap so ap name will show is here now it's showing the ap name as huawei but uh, after restart it will show the name as employee okay now we bind this authentication to our ap group so ap group ap ap yes so we bind this uh, authentication to our ap group so next command is so now we uh, create our so go back quit back and here we uh, create a security profile so what should be the security security profile name uh, security security and we uh, select the security type so what uh, should be the security type so we select the security should be WPA, WPA2 and PSK passphrase and here you select the password of uh, the uh, device uh, like when you connect to uh, AP via home router so you give this password to connect for authentication ok so now we give the password as Huawei one two three okay this is our password and aes is an encryption uh, mechanism okay now we give and quit back and now we create ssid profile name ssid ssid and and ssid ssid will be employee okay the operation is successful so now we go our next step we create a VAP profile VAP sorry VAP profile name profile name VAP and bind all the uh, first of all we select the tunnel uh, for forwarding mode which will, will be the forwarding mode either you are using tunnel forwarding or direct forwarding so we are using inline so tunnel forwarding we select forwarding mode as tunnel forward ok and uh, our service VLAN what is our service VLAN service VLAN is VLAN ID which, uh, which one is our service VLAN so our service VLAN is 20 so we give here the service VLAN 20 ok after that uh, we select here the security profile sorry security profile our security profile name was security security ok so this is our security profile name so you can see here this is this was the security profile name so this is ok security and our SSID profile name was SSID and we select here now we go quit and now we go in our uh, AP group uh, in AP group uh, we bind this VAP profile to our AP group so AP 
एपी ग्रुप ग्रुप नेम एपी एंड बाइंड दिस वी एपी प्रोफाइल वी एपी प्रोफाइल प्रोफाइल नेम वाज वी एपी एंड स्लैक आई डब्ल्यू लैन रीजन वन एंड रेडियो रेडियो मींस व्हाट फ्रीक्वेंसी यू विल यूज इफ यू वांट टू यूज टू पॉइंट फोर सो यू कैन सेलेक्ट जीरो इफ यू वांट टू सेलेक्ट द फाइव गीगाहर्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी सेलेक्ट वन इफ यू वांट बोथ सो सेलेक्ट ऑल इफ यू क्वेश्चन मार्क है सो यू कैन सी है रेडियो रेडियो आई डी जीरो वन और टू सो इफ यू सेलेक्ट ऑल सो यू विल यूज ऑल द फ्रीक्वेंसी आई एम सेलेक्टिंग ऑल सो इट मीन्स डेट वी आर सेलेक्टिंग नाउ यू कैन सी हेयर आफ्टर डूइंग दिस आई दिस has been created so this is the uh, coverage area of ap if you move this ap so you can see here this is the coverage area of sc so any device wireless device uh, come in this coverage area will get the uh, internet connectivity so let's select a wireless devices yes this laptop so just uh, pick this laptop and uh, here so if you observe so there is no signal of ap if you move this device in this coverage area so now we will, will observe okay first of all we have to on this device so i have start this device so now you can say that uh, you are not observing any uh wireless signal here so if you move this device here so just start you can see here Uh, you are observing the wireless signal so ap name was employ as we write so if you want to connect this so just give the password so we password we apply was huawei 123 so you see here obtaining password so it will obtain password from dhcp server now the device is connected so if you go in command prompt so type here ip config sorry ip config so you can see here it uh, dhcp assigned this ip address to this devices as i said earlier any device connect to this ap will get the ip address from service vlan so service vlan ip address was network was 20.0 so it will get the uh, and the ip obtained by this ac will be of control vlan the control vlan because ac will give this Uh, ap the ip address through control vlan network so so if you want to use this smartphone so just on this smartphone and uh, you can see here uh, you can observe the signal here so if you want to connect so just give the password as we give in our home so you can see here obtaining password after that it will connect after some time so this is also been connected so you can see here this is the sign of connection so if device will be here so you can see here there is no connection if it will connect through password so it will uh, show like this so it means that these two are connected if you go here in command prompt if you type ip config ip config so you can see here dhcp give the password so Uh, of this device uh, the ip address 20.32 through this device you can ping this uh, laptop ping uh, 192.168.20.32 so if you ping so you can see that ping is coming so from this device data is going through this device so these two devices are communicate can communicate with each other these two device also communicate uh, through internet with other networks so, so this is all about uh, the configuration of uh, wireless uh, this is how we uh, configure wireless home routers so that's all if you have any questions so you can ask in comment so any devices go beyond this coverage area will disconnect if this device connect to uh, come in this coverage area so connect to this ap so that's how so that's all for today's video please subscribe my channel support me and thank you very much if you have any questions so you can free to ask me so thank you